How's it going, people? Well, we're up to uh, Alma 8. And plenty comes to pass, but the next chapter is going to be a problem. But I'll, I'll drive off that bridge when I get to it. And we start with a drink. Ooh, all smoky in here. Another Dream Theater bootleg. Or six one six, depending on which version you look at. album and and the original dream theater i love what they did with gangland all right let's try this again <laughs> Damn. got interrupted sorry and now it came to pass that elmo returned from the land of gideon after having taught the people of gideon many things which cannot be written so another sealed off section there. Makes it sound so important. See how we get this we just have to wait in the kiddie pool. <laughs> yeah, we can't go there. Uh, which are sealed. But which cannot be written. Having established the order of the church according as he had before done in the land of Sarahimla. Yea, he returned to his own house at Zarahemla to rest himself from his labors which he had performed. Verse 2. And thus, yeah, that was verse 1. That was a long one. First year. And thus ended the ninth year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi. Verse 3. And it came to pass that in the commencement commencement of the tenth year there's an asterisk but come on it's a year more a year later or forward I mean they're BC I don't know <sighs> yeah tenth year the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi that Alma departed from thence and took his journey over into the land of Melik. <coughs> Melik. On the west of the river Sidon. This must be some river. Is this like Moon River? Make believe river? Prime me a fucking river? On the west of the borders of the wilderness. Why is Alma doing this? He's in charge of this big ass thing. I mean, that's like Captain Kirk always being on the away teams. Uh, 
right. Yeah, so he went to the land of Melik instead of sending a competent subordinate. Because he's fucking stupid. <laughs> and stubborn. And fictional. No, this is more of that, uh... Very nice. So... Yeah. Mighty taste. I love pouring beers to, uh, guitar, guitar solos. I got that right. <laughs> Verse 5, and it came to pass that, um, wait, all right, yeah, verse 4, excuse me, this helps. And he began to teach the people in the land of Melik according to the holy order of God by which he had been called. That's stupid. Come on. It's always playing favorites, God. It's like, what a... All right, hey, you got to be a hero this time. Now you can step up and be Moses for a day. Wouldn't we have a world of believers? We'd even know what the fuck it meant, maybe, if we could do miracles for a day. That's what I think. Everybody should be God for a day. Then there won't be any atheists. Ah. And he began to teach the people of Atlanta, Holy uh, land, uh, God, by which he had been called, and he began to teach the people throughout the land, all the land of Melik, all of it. <coughs> Verse 5. And it came to pass that the people came to him throughout all the borders in the land, which was by the wilderness side. And they were baptized throughout all the land. So that when he had finished his work at Melik, he departed thence and traveled three days. A journey on the north of the land of Melik. A map would be really handy right now. And he came to a city which was called Ammonihah. <laughs> Verse 7. Now, it was the custom of the people of Nephi to call their lands and their cities and their villages, yea, even all their small villages after the name of him who first possessed them. And thus, it was with the land of Ammonihah. Verse 8. Verse 8. Then it came to pass that when Alma had come to the city of Ammonihah, he began to preach the word of God unto them. Now Satan, Satan, devil. Now Satan had gotten great hold upon the hearts of the people of the city of Ammonihah. Therefore, they would not hearken unto the words of Alma. Nevertheless, Alma labored much in the spirit, wrestling with God in mighty prayer. Kind of like Jacob in his magic ladder to heaven. Spirit wrestling with God in mighty prayer. 
that he would pour out his spirit. That's what he, his, it isn't capitalized, but spirit is. But it's his. And he's divine. He's God. And I want red ink for JC talking. Damn it. And a map. Uh, let's see. That's, uh... Yeah. Now, Satan had gotten great hold upon them, uh, upon the city of Ammoniah. Therefore, therefore, they would not hearken unto the words of Alma. Nevertheless, Alma, laboring much in the spirit and wrestling with God, there we go, that's the ten, uh, in mighty prayer that he would pour out his spirit upon the people who were in the city, that he would also grant that he might baptize them unto repentance. Nevertheless, they hardened their hearts. Bastards! I hate it when that happens. Hardened hearts. Isn't that like hardened arteries and shit? Saying unto him, Behold, we know that thou art Alma Jr. <laughs> and we know that thou art high priest over the church, uh, which thou hast established in many parts of the land. Surrender your phaser and tricorder. <laughs> the communicator. Kirk, we know it's you. You fucking hero hound. <laughs> Action, huh? Action whore. Boredom. Uh. Yeah, the fucking high priest. Because he heard a voice in his head. It gets louder and louder. Oh, yeah. They harden their hearts, saying unto him, Behold, we know thou art, thou art Alma, and we know that thou art high priest over the church, which thou hast established in many parts of the land, according to your tradition. And we are not of thy church. And we do not believe in such foolish traditions. Twelve. And now we know that because we are not of thy church, we know that thou hast no power over us. And thou hast delivered up the judgment seat unto Nephi Ha. Nephi Ha. Therefore, thou art not the chief judge over us. 13. Now, when the people had said this and withstood all his words and reviled him and spit upon him and caused that he should be cast out of their city. He departed thence and took his journey towards the city which was called Aaron. That's like Shades of the Apostle Paul right there. <laughs> Fourteen. And it came to pass that while he journeyed, was journeying thither, being weighed down with sorrow, wading through much tribulation and anguish of soul, because of the wickedness of the people who were in the city of Ammonihah. Just a bitch and album. I love the original. I saw Iron, Iron Maiden live a couple of times and fucking awesome. So cool. <laughs> This is Dream Theater. California boys. I believe, mostly. Partially. At least it started off that way. I don't know. Something like that.
Uh, yeah. Who were in the city of Ammonihah. It came to pass while Alma Am- Am- was thus weighed down with sorrow. Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto him. This is the second time now. How is that fucking fair? I mean, the guy was an idolater. He didn't even ask for it. It was thrust upon him. Really? Uh, hey, thrust it upon all of us. We'll believe. Big G. Or J. Jr. God Jr. <laughs> Saying... <laughs> This is the angel. Blessed art thou, Alma. Probably the voice of thunder, though. <laughs> Therefore, lift up thy head and rejoice. For thou hast great cause to rejoice. <clears throat> For thou hast been faithful in keeping the commandments of God from the time which thou receiveth thy first message from him. Behold, I am he that delivered it unto you. And your name is? It's not Moroni. He hasn't been born yet. See, he becomes an angel, I guess. Or he's like the ghost of Christmas past or something. Something along those lines. Uh... Behold, I am he that delivered it unto you. 16. And behold, I am sent to command thee that thou return to the city of Ammonihah and preach again unto the people of the city. Yay. All right, shades of uh, Jonah a little bit too. Preach unto them. Yea, say unto them, except they repent, the Lord God will destroy them. Uh, sh- shades of Sodom and Gomorrah and judges. Spe- heavy on judges. 17. For behold, they do study at this time that they may destroy the liberty of thy people. Don't take away their liberty. For thus saith the Lord. That's in parentheses for some fucking reason. Uh, Which is contrary to the statutes and judgments and commandments which he has given unto the people. 18. Now it came to pass that after Alma had received this me- his message from the angel, he got his assignment. <laughs> and it will self-destruct in 10 seconds. And now it came to pass that after Alma had received his message from the angel of the Lord, he returned speedily to the land of Ammonihah, and he entered the city by another way, Yea, by the way which is on the south of the city of Ammonihah. And as he entered the city, he was anhungered. Really, that's what it says. Anhungered. And he said to a man, all right, that's, yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot, judges that old part from the field. And the Levite and concubine and manservant. That one didn't end so nice. Uh, I'll put a link to a blog I did about that. Anyone wants to waste some time. They've probably all figured it out themselves. Uh, Yeah. And hungered. And he said to a man will ye give to an give to an humble 
servant of God something to eat? 20. And the man said unto him, I am a Nephite. All right, now that's definitely Judges and Gibba Benjamin and uh, Levite. Hell yeah. Oh. <sighs> I am a Nephite, said the guy. And I know that thou art a holy prophet of God. For thou art the man whom an angel said in a vision, Thou shalt receive. What happened to God's powers, man? This Jedi power is, uh, I guess he, I don't know, where is he? He could do all that fucking racking as shit. And now it just seems like the world is kind of doing what it does. It doesn't give a fuck if it's just a fucking world. And we're a life form on it. And we're lucky for the time we fucking got. Stop dwelling on death and morbid crazy ass shit. Just, just treat people right and be decent. There. Book closed. <laughs> yeah. Don't need a book for that. Don't even need that written down. Uh, still in 20. All right. Holy prophet of God for vision of an angel shall receive. Uh, therefore, go with me into my house, and I will impart unto thee of my food. And I know that thou wilt be a blessing unto me and my house. 21. And it came to pass that the man received him into his house. And the man was called Amulek. Amulek. And he brought forth bread and meat and sat and set before Alma. 22. And it came to pass that Alma ate bread and was filled. And he blessed Amulek and his house, and he gave thanks unto God. 23. And after he had eaten and filled and was filled, he said unto Amulek, I am Alma. And I am the high priest over the church of God throughout the land. <coughs> 24. I love this. And behold, not the verse, the song. And behold, I have been called to preach the word of God among all this people according to the spirit of revelation and prophecy. And I was in this land, and they would not receive me. But they cast me out. And I was sent uh, about to set my back towards us land forever. Don't forget, they spit on you, too. They said mean things. 25. And behold, I have been commanded that I should turn again and prophesy unto this people. Yay! <laughs> and to testify against them concerning their iniquities. Because they love hearing that. <laughs> and now, Amulek, because thou hast fed me and taken me in, thou art blessed. For I was an hungered, for I have fasted many days. 27. And Alma tarried many days with Amulek before he began to preach unto the people. 28. And it came to pass that the people did wax more gross in their iniquities. <clears throat> 
29. And the word came to Alma, saying, Go, and also say unto my servant Amulek. Oh, you can't say it to him? Oh, he's not a prophet, that's right. Come on, give him the Jedi touch. I think you just have to bite him in the neck once or something. I forget how it works. <laughs> yeah, and say unto my servant Amulek, Go forth and prophesy unto this people. So, and he, an angel visited him. He needs you to tell him that. Why aren't they getting you guys, getting this angel at the same time simultaneously? They're prophets! He had an angel visit him. Doesn't that make you. Well, I guess not. Alright. And prophecy unto the people saying, Repent ye, for thus saith the Lord. Except ye repent, repent, I visit this people with mine anger, yea, and I will not turn my fierce anger away. 30. And Alma went forth, and also Amulek, among the people to declare the words of God unto them, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. 31. And they had power given unto them, insomuch that they could not be confined in dungeons. Jedi powers. You don't you're not looking for these droids. Move along. Move along. Jedi tricks. Uh, they can't be confined in dungeons. Neither was it possible that any man could slay them. Really? Nevertheless, they did not ex exercise their power until they were bound in bands and cast into prison. Now, this was done that the Lord might show forth his power in them. Practice, practice, practice. 32. And it came to pass that they went forth and began to preach in prophecy unto the people according to the Spirit and power which the Lord had given them. How about that? And I want to show you some pictures that are in this. Oop. Yeah, I love how they're trying to connect all this Aztec shit. But then again... <laughs> but then again, that's their idea of a map. Which they don't. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I was going to say something, but it slipped my mind. I think it was profound, too. Oh, well. Unscripted piece. The fuck out. How wonderful. How the fuck it is. You might be having. Good.